The nomad continued his journey through the wastes, and as a gust of wind swirled by his head, a little hummingbird appeared before his eyes. Nomad, before you walk on into the desert, will you please hear my song? No, said the nomad. I'm too busy for that. Go ask someone else. But the hummingbird wouldn't take no for an answer, and it kept following him through the desert. I beg of you, I must share my song with somebody. What a selfish thing to ask of me. Sorry, but I'm just not in the mood. I've come to the desert on the journey to my death, and I can't wait for you. But that's ridiculous. Why would anybody go on a journey just to die? What reason would I have to lie on my way to die? Now, let me be. But even still, the hummingbird refused. How about this? If I can get you to lie about something, you have to listen to my song all the way through. And if I can't, I won't speak another word to you. The nomad was sure this would be his chance to stop the little bird pestering him. Fine then, he said. I'll take your bet. Joe! What made you want to die? The hummingbird asked. And the nomad answered, I lost everything I had. You just told a lie. It's the truth. I've lost my home and my fortune. My whole family fell sick and died. I have nothing left anymore. Joe! We can't say it! <laughs> But you do, said the hummingbird. You have eyes to see me and ears to listen to my song. And you have a mouth to speak and answer my questions, too. That's true, said the nomad. He couldn't help feeling he'd been tricked. But still, he knew he'd lost the bet. Thank you, White Show. This place used to be my home. It's precious to me, too. But in the end, I guess Saggio never did show. <clears throat> Probably worn out from his match. I don't know why he still keeps fighting. What's he getting out of letting nobody smack him around all the time? Seems like he's fine with the way things are going for him. Back when he was a kid, he wanted to become an engineer. Yeah. He always said he wanted to have the same job Pops used to have. Even after you left, he and Oicho were always helping Abuhachi out at his shop. Until we lost this place. We all had our own stuff to worry about back then. None of us realized at first that Sachio was training in megaloboxing. But when we'd see him, it wasn't hard to tell that something in him was changing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.